Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Please be upstanding for the Kerbal National Anthem. Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program with me, Rob, and me, Rich. Brilliant. Um, yes, Kerbal Space Program, the amazing space game where you get to build rockets and fire them across the solar system. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, if you haven't seen this game before, uh, don't worry too much. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll enjoy what you're about to see. So uh, we'll just start a new game. Uh, we'll just call it FMBs. Oh, my cap's locking on. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, hang on. We need to pick a flag. So what do we want? What do you think is? Uh, I like the the bullseye. The bullseye kind of works for me. Bullseye. Uh, at the top middle. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go for that. That's nice. Excellent. Okay. So we've got a flag. Yeah. All we need is a rocket and an objective. Yes. Of course. Uh, now, Doctor Ed Kerman has um, has set us some tasks that we need to complete. Yeah. First of all, we need to launch a satellite into uh, Kerbin orbit. Uh, this will guarantee that we secure the funding for further missions. It will indeed, yeah. So, uh, and also it will be a benchmark in scientific discovery. It certainly will. So, without further ado, I say let's build a rocket. Um, so this is going to be unmanned. This yep. just needs to be uh, just needs to be put into orbit to show that it can be done. Uh, so I think we could use the uh, the Stay Putnik Mark II. Stay Putnik. <laughs> Brilliant. I think that's a fairly good place to start from. If we have one of those, so we'll just work on the actual satellite for now. Okay. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see it. Once my computer catches up with us. Okay, so the stay put nick. What we'll do is I'm just gonna put a bit of fuel on it. How okay. much bigger is that? That's kind of much that's No, we need somewhere to strap stuff, so we'll have that. Yeah, that's quite a bit of fuel. <laughs> it is, it's tons of fuel. But um I mean, what have we got for? We haven't got to think. We've got the tiny ones, haven't we? Yeah. That's nah, great. We'll stick with that because I want to put some solar panels on it and stuff and make it look interesting. Okay, yeah, because it's got to look cool. That's half the job. I isn't mean, it? yes. If you want to that's, secure funding for something, it has to it? look cool. Yeah, there has to be lots of interesting bits. Yeah, we'll even got got put a machine on it that goes bing! <laughs> 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 Why not? <Very> <laughs> okay. So we'll have a little engine. Yeah. Um, Which one was that? I have no idea. That one. Okay. Little liquid fuel job. And we'll also add. Uh, really, we should have the RCS thrusters and stuff. But then you need to add the fuel. Because in for the space, because all of the uh, the modules, the control modules, have um, torque, basically, and they will just turn anyway, which is a bit pretend, isn't it? It's yeah, not quite a true. Bit. So I don't know, maybe we'll just place a couple of these on with some symmetry. But don't you need the fuel for those? Oh yes, we'll need some fuel. Oh yeah, look at this. This is wonderful. Um, so, like you said, we'll need a bit of RCS fuel to fuel that. Is that no, that's not RCS fuel, is it? No, liquid fuel and oxidizer. That's absolutely enormous, isn't it? Or is that the small one? That's the small one. Is there one. anything smaller? I, s I think that's the smallest one. The know. Oscar B isn't, is it? No, it's liquid fuel and oxidizer. Okay, well, mm, okay, it's growing at the moment. <laughs> We need to be able to manoeuvre it. Still looks good. Yeah, still, still does. Still looks good. We're going to have to put some sort of solar panels on this. Okay. To make sure that it functions. Now there's some great big ones which make it look awesome. These are the ones here. So, oh my god, I need to put that on the angle snap so we actually get things on straight. I'll just move that as well so that's in straight. I think this is going to look pretty good, actually. Okay, we're going to uh, need some sort of sciencey equipment as well. Oh yeah, of course. We're going to have to measure well, all sorts, yeah. aren't we? We 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 don't know anything. We don't know anything. We don't know what's out there. We, we haven't don't got know, a clue. We don't even know. If You're it's right. We don't even know it's round. Yeah, is the Earth round? And when I say the Earth, of course, I'm referring to the the Earth, which is upon Kerbin. Yes. Not 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 the Earth, because that's obviously yes. uh, we don't know where that is. In no. reference to uh, Kerbin and the Kerbals. Um, so, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Let's have a look at our science equipment. 
So there's a thermometer. Well, that might be useful. Probably probably need one of those. It'd be, be nice to know what sort of temperature it is up there. Yeah, that's pretty important, I think. Yeah. Uh, the barometer. Yep. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, what else? The negative gravioli. Yep. We'll have. Yeah, we'll, have we'll try and detect the negative gravioli. Yep. Uh, of course, uh, it does need to communicate with. Uh, accelerometer. Yep. Um, yes, and it will need to communicate. Um, I'm not sure where to put these. Should we put that on the main hub itself? Because we can stick them on the, what, like on top of it. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be quite cool. Yeah, we need to try and get it straight. It's good thinking. Uh, it doesn't quite. That looks it. Right. Really? Yeah, because you've got to bear in mind it. That'll do. Straight enough for the kerbals, I think. They're happy with that. There we go. So I reckon. Is that fully equipped? Um, I guess so. It doesn't need anything else, does it? No, I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles it could possibly need. I mean, why would anyone not want to put their name all over the side of that? I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, 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 let's abbreviate it, so we'll call it the, uh, the Kerbal Orbiting... Science Machine. Science Machine. Cosm. The Cosm. Cosm. Cos, cos, yeah. <laughs> right now we need something underneath it. It's, it's, ca it's catchy at least. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's to secure the funding, I'm sure. Okay, so we've got uh, an engine to burn when we're in orbit. This is just yeah. This is the orbitizer. <laughs> the orbitizer. <laughs> this is the satellite. <laughs> yes. Um, so, so we're going to need something underneath it to push it up. Yeah, but we're going to need some sort of separation control. We are. You're right. So. Decoupler of some sort. Uh, stick that under there. Explosive decoupler. That's what we like. Kaboom. Um, and then we just need a rock. We just need some thrust under this. Yeah. Doesn't need to be particularly high tech. Just needs to have some power. We just need some thrust. Now the important thing to remember is not to go too overboard <laughs> cause because you're just carrying extra weight. It's just extra weight we're lugging all the way up. It's going to need quite a bit because I'd imagine that's pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what's going to work here. We'll just go for... Should we g I don't know why am I picking all the big stuff when I've just said that we should... So what engine was that one? That's the skipper I okay. put on there. And I think we'll just stick on... Should we just stick on a pile of SRBs? Yeah. A pile of SRBs. And hopefully so that'll just get us up there. What are you going to use to put those on the side? Uh, the radial decoupler. And we'll go with... Can we fit that many on? Let's see... Yes, we can. Okay, this should have. How straight are they? Not very. Um, try that again. Not there. Okay, that's good. That's that is sweet. I just need to sort out. I need to that stability thing, and then that's pretty sort cool. Sort out the staging. So all this down the right so what side. What staging here. do? So basically, you press space. Every yeah. time you press space, it does a different. St it does the next stage. So when we press space at the moment, it fires all of the SRBs and releases the uh, the clamps. The clamps, which is good. And then the next time we hit it, it uh, releases all the SRBs and then it fires our main engine. I might have the main engine go with the rest, but I'll just Adjust keep it. it as I'll you keep go. it really low. Yeah. Um, and then we decouple the the middle, and then we're onto the satellite. I don't know if this will work. I haven't tested a rocket like this, to be honest. <laughs> we'll see. This top bit might be seriously heavy, but there's only one way to find out. And that's if the cosm will make it, yes, the and that's just to point it upwards and uh, fire it. Let's see if we can secure ourselves some funding. So any any epic words before we launch this first? No. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And away she goes. <laughs> I'm going to cut the engine. It's a good start. So we could have put um, a sass on this and other stuff. But I don't think yeah. there's a whole lot of point. We probably should have put some control surfaces on it as I'm having quite a bit of difficulty. Yeah. Bear in mind you're not actually firing the, um, the main engine. Yeah, which would probably be handy because it's got... Um, Thrust got vectoring. Yeah, thrust, thrust vectoring. Okay. Uh, usually I'd like to head towards the 90 on the nav ball there. We're kind of just falling at the moment. 
I have got RCS, haven't I? Let's you get have. RCS on. Let's see if I can bring her back under control. You need to power up your main engine because the SRV is about to go. Okay. Holy poop, this does not fly particularly well. Firing those off. Right, where's 90? Let's get towards 90. Honda there. Uh, just open the resources up there so we can see. Mono propellant, that's for the RCS. Yeah. Okay, so what I usually do is at about 10, 10 kilometres up, I head right over to this 90 like I'm doing at the moment. So we can start working on an orbit. Okay. And if you can follow this 90 line, this will put you in a beautiful straight equatorial orbit. If you can line her up. If you can line her up. She's a bit, she's a bit of a dog, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> and we're kind of just sort of falling. We're not really gaining enough altitude at the moment, I don't think. <laughs> that hasn't gone amazingly. She does fly like an absolute bag of crap. God, that's full burn as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we are picking up a lot of speed. Um... It's going pretty well. Uh, I don't. Let's just hit the map and see. Okay, so our Apo apps is yep. slowly rising, but not really fast enough. Oh god! And I took my eye off the ball for a second, and we're plummeting. Right, we're just going to keep going up for a second, <laughs> if I can actually get her under control. <laughs> <laughs> we need that funding, damn it! We need future missions to go ahead. Might right. be worth just ditching the. The, the big tank. And just no, we can't. We need we need the frost. We need the frost. Right, Apple Apps is increasing quite quite pleasantly. Actually, we're doing all right. We've got quite a lot of fuel in this stage anyway. I just yeah. need to keep this orbit a bit straighter. Let's just try and straighten this up a bit. Constant manhandling at the moment. Yeah, so to speak. Treat her rough. Treat her rough. Mm. Yeah, she needs <laughs> she needs a firm grasp. <laughs> she does. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're just going to cut the engine there. Let's have a look at our apps. So we are going to we're going to rise pretty damn high, and we've got quite a lot of fuel. Yeah, and we've got quite a powerful engine, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to orbit this fairly easily. Now the trick is, we kind of want to ditch uh, the bottom stage before we get into an orbit, so that all falls back down into Kerbin and, and yeah. rains down on the, you know, the innocent, the, the innocent, and the young, <laughs> the innocent, the young, and the unexpected. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Instead of floating around and annoying me, just giving me loads of debris in space. So just before we hit the Apo apps, we're going to do a burn. Okay. Um, and we burn prograde. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just pulling this out. To allow us to see. Um, so there it is. And I'll just press that. So that will give us an orbit. If we burn there like that, hopefully. So all I need to do now is just line this up. We're spinning all over the place because I haven't got the sass. So it's just wild. Line this up with our target. It says a 42 second burn. Seems a bit enormous. But I don't know. We'll see. It usually lies. <laughs> to be honest. How much mono... Well, we've got tons of mono propellant, haven't we? Yeah, so... Barely used any. Which is pretty good. Uh, oh god, sometimes I have real trouble turning it. Oh, it's because of where the mono propellant is. If I turn it onto its side, then I can probably thrust yeah, you've downwards. You've only got them. Um, yeah. yeah it doesn't opposites, haven't you? Yeah, you see, I'm turning well that way. Oh god. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh, I'm just spinning wildly. <laughs> it's going incredibly well this part. I can't actually uh, turn it. You, at you all. have six seconds until you need to burn. I know. I need to get it a little bit more on course first. Okay, right. We've kind of missed the burn point. We're just going to have to go for it. I'm just going to. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah. Well, we've got the thrust vectoring as soon as we've got the engine on anyway. Yeah. So I've suddenly got a bit of control back. Right. Big burn. Power. It says, it says it's enormous, doesn't it? We don't want to, like I said, we want to ditch this stage before we're actually orbiting. Try a bit long. Yeah, I'll cut the engine just before then. The 
adjust again. And, uh, right, hang on, let's have a look. Do a little bit more of a burner thing. Oh, I've got to get my engine back on so I can actually bring the nose up. Oh, it's tense. It's a tense moment. It is tense. Everyone at Mission Control is pacing up and down. A bit more of a burn. Hey there. I mean, anything within, to be honest, we can let it burn out quite a bit. I'm being a bit overcautious here. Because it can go out to... Right there. That's still going to... I mean, the periaps is at 2,000. So, uh, yeah, that's still going to crash. Okay, what we'll do, we need to be quick now. We'll have to disconnect it, which is a waste of fuel, but, but goodbye anyway. And then start our engine here. And now, if we burn towards... Oh, she handles like a dream. We just burn towards this. We should orbit it. Go back out and have a look. And there it is! Perfect. Periaps is coming towards us. And the periaps is at 100. So it's not, it's not completely. It's not perfect. It's not completely round. Right. <laughs> but you know, cur okay. curvils don't care about that sort of thing. There we go. Right, let's orbited. Get, let's get this thing unpacked. Yeah. And start transmitting all of its beautiful data back. So, extend the solar panels. Look at that. That's it's spinning a, spinning a bit wildly, if I'm honest. Um, let's just the I'm just going to try and. Try and slow her down a bit so she doesn't tumble quite so wildly. Looks pretty good. I don't know if the SAS will actually do anything. It might help. Sometimes it does. A bit confused by it. Okay, and we'll just deploy. Cut that! And there it is! Bing! Ah! Oh, I feel like we've secured the funding. As that travels around, travels around Kerbin. Transmitting wonderful data back, showing the Get whole that. of Kerbin for the first time that uh, we can do it. And as we gaze out upon other celestial bodies throughout this star system, the Kerbins wonder where they might go next. So join us next time for more adventuring. I, I think, uh, I think we'll probably go to the moon or something. I think that's probably a logical idea. Uh, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you then. Cheers! Ta-ra!